gang, let's read page 82 of The Essential Psychedelic Guide by D.M. Turner. Okay. As Nicholas requested. Page 82. Oh, look at this. It's the song's title. Self-development on numerous fronts. Let's see what uh, section this is in. This is... Oh, look at the titles on this. Hold on, let me find the chapter. Oh, nice. So page 70, so this is page 82, right? Page 82, self-development of numerous, on numerous fronts, right? Page 79 is further exploration. Where do we go from here? Okay. And then it has numerous headings. The legalization of drugs and healing society's view of substance use. And gang, while we're doing this, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. The next subheading for this is affinity for oneself and others. Next one is applications of natural recognition of humanity's smallness and of our being an internal integral part of the universe serious headings right and then we get to page 82 and we're going to read the whole page because page 82 is self-development on numerous fronts and then the next chapter next subheading is tapping tapping normally dormant abilities of our of our what of our minds and developing ultra consciousness very cool serious stuff serious stuff and the last subheading for this is the role of psychedelics in future societies and then it goes into a new section dmt water spirit a magical link nice phony i finally took my first heroic dose of mushrooms a couple of weeks ago it was like i was disassociated from my thoughts and managed to observe them as if i was a third party very cool very cool mm. still going we're gonna smoke a cigar cuban I'm going to have a sip of Glenn Levitt, 14 year old cognac cask finish. And I'm going to read a little DM Turner. Page 82 of the Essential Psychedelic Guide by DM Turner. Self development on numerous fronts. Psychedelics can help the user develop in many ways. The primary development that tends to occur is a general broadening of perspectives and life experience. Each time one embarks on a psychedelic voyage, the familiar mode of viewing the world is temporarily set aside and the voyager has a chance to view life with the filters of conditioning removed. Although a new filter is created as a psychedelic state fades, the tripper's post-session reality should be permanently changed, at least to a small degree. After a psychedelic trip, one has the vantage point of having experienced life as though he or she had been a different entity. One's filter of conditioning should become less biased as one experiences life through a multitude of viewpoints. It is also likely for Tripper's filter to become less rigid as he or she welcomes familiar 
welcomes familiar with its undying fluid, fluid, fluidity. It is not uncommon for f psychedelic users to come to the realization that what they have called reality is but an arbitrary view of life. The next step in this sequence in it is, is acknowledgement that one's experience of life can be consci consciously changed to their will. For me, this has resulted in an expansion of my ability and what I consider possible to do. Psychedelics should also expand one's ambitions and desire to obtain the most out of life. Once you've experienced heaven, it is difficult to remain satisfied with a mediocre state of existence. For one's life to be strongly affected by psychedelics, it is usually necessary to make the insights gained during the psychedelic experience part of their regular frame of mind. This requires some type of follow-through after one's journey, possibly a spiritual or psychological practice that will help avoid slipping back into routine patterns. This can take much more effort than the psychedelic experience itself, but the rewards can be well worth the effort. The ability of psychedelics to stimulate artistic creativity is well known. The cultural revolution that began in the 60s has many outstanding examples. In the Psychedelics Encyclopedia, Peter Stafford describes several surveys of, art surveys of artists who tried psychedelics and how it affected their work. Okay. That's page 82. We're going to read this book at some point from front to back. Okay. Awesome. Great buy. Very happy with it. $17 all in, including shipping and taxes. Amazing deal. Amazing deal.